show you how you can include LaTeX code in your metadata. This is for the specific application where you are writing a Lua filter and you will be using this metadata in a Pandoc template. So um, we are here within the meta function. So it's if we go up here, incredibly long, but goodness. right up here. So within this, this is a special function when you're writing Lua filters for Pandoc, and it is going to apply to your metadata, which you can then use in your Pandoc templates. Okay, so let's go back down here. So here's my little example test code where I want to include this LaTeX code in my tech document. So the effect that I'd like to achieve is I'd like to achieve this new command, uh, horizontal rule, hello there. That's what I want to achieve. I'll show you two ways you can do that. So the first way is that, um, or first thing that you should know, is that you need to tell Pandoc what your uh, that your LaTeX code is LaTeX, and this is how you do it. This Pandoc read raw inline here, and then you first argument is what it is, it's LaTeX, and then here's your LaTeX, and notice that you need to escape your backslashes just like this. Okay. There we go. And in this case, what I'm going to do is going to create an array with the three different lines. And to do that, I need to add this to it. I have to say pandoc meta inlines. So, um, so that's one way. And then in your uh, pandoc template, you could then have a for loop like this, and it's going to go loop through that array, print out each value, and then the separation is a new line. If you do that approach, there you go. You get that. That might seem overly complicated. Here's another way to do it. Uh, in this case, I create a variable my text, and I create this metadata called LaTeX2. Again, I need to say that what I have here is LaTeX. Um, if you don't do this, it just won't work because Pandoc is going to uh, change all these backslashes to something that's not a backslash. So. This is critical, having that. So you tell it that it's LaTeX, and then you can put those new lines in uh, manually here. So just slash in, slash in. And in this case, I put my text in here. This dot dot is string concatenation. So it's going to be this H rule thing here, new line, this uh, my text right here, my text right here. It's not going to have the um, quotations there and then another new line. And now when I put that in my Pandoc template, I just include it like that. And when it outputs, it's going to have those new lines there, just like this. So two approaches to achieve the same effect, which one you use um, is kind of uh, up to you. Both um, are used in different um, applications. It kind of depends on how you're, you're forming this um, this uh, uh, this bit right here. Sometimes you're doing it, say, in a for loop or something, and it would make more sense to to do it this way.